Before we get into it, let's address the elephant in the room. Yesterday, the Cyberman head, known as Dennis Michael Hawkins, sometimes nicknamed Mike Hawk, was stolen by an evil man. I promise you this, one day he will return to his rightful place. I will ensure his safety. If you see the head, let me know. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video where today we're gonna to be getting into the latest Doctor Who news. I've been away for a couple of days, so there's a couple of little bits, mainly minor things, but some things that I thought were interesting nonetheless. And yeah, we're just gonna be going over them. Feel free to subscribe if you're new. We're trying to get to 20,000 subscribers and I would just love to get there at this stage. I also have a Kofi. If you donate 10 pound or more on Kofi, you'll get a shout out in a video. So any support would be really appreciated on that front. I know times are hard for everyone right now, but anything you can spare would really help me out. I'm looking to make some bigger projects. So any support on that front would be really, really cool. But with that said, let's get into the video. This account called What's Filming in Bristol said that more Doctor Who filming is due to take place in Frederick Place, Clifton on unspecified date between April 2023 and September 2024. Source, Temporary Traffic Regulation Order for Frederick Place, dates 24th of April 2023 to the 25th of September 2024. Exact dates within period to be confirmed. So, very, very interesting stuff here. So, this is interesting because I've seen some people pitch, and it could very much be like this if this date is as wide as it's saying it is, series 14 and 15 potentially being filmed back to back, or perhaps they will also use the time to film that rumoured unit spin-off, which would be really cool. This would also imply to me that the likes of Millie Gibson will stick around for at least two series, because I highly doubt they would get her cast just now and then be like, right, you're done. Like, I imagine she'll probably be sticking around for at least two series, which I'm cool with personally, especially considering, you know, series episode counts are shorter now. But if it is indeed true that series 14 and 15 are filming back to back, maybe the spin-off, that gives me a great deal of confidence in RTD's plan to basically keep Doctor Who content consistently coming out throughout the next couple of years. I've said before that whilst I'm really excited for the future, I am sort of struggling to stay super excited at the moment. You know, like a lot of the sort of tie-in media stuff like Doomsday, like things like the game, the mobile game, and stuff like that, haven't really been doing a ton to tide me over alongside things like Heart Relief, which to be honest, I don't really mind being a short little thing at the end of the day, it was a charity thing. But like, what I'm basically getting at is, I will be happy when, you know, stuff is actually coming out. Not to say that, you know, I'm not happy with what's on the way, just the fact that we're waiting so long. And obviously, I'm trying to stay as excited as I can, but it's hard to always be excited when something is so long away. But I am excited nonetheless, and I hope that this is indeed true, and they film series 14 and 15 back to back, because that would basically ensure consistent content through the next couple of years, which would be really nice. According to good friend of the channel, Doctor Who Filming Locations, DDSR extras have been requested for the following. 17th to 19th of May, Margam, probably Castle. 23rd to 25th of May, Bristol, probably a manor house castle, such as King's Western House, ballroom type scenes, late night shoots. So this indicates to me some sort of historical episode may be coming up. And the way that they found this out was it's a closed link to a Facebook group, which is kind of common for extras. They'll kind of put these advertisements out on Facebook groups and places like that so that people can basically, you know, sign up and be on set basically. So yeah, it's looking like those dates from Bristol might indeed be accurate because here we can see 23rd to 25th of May as well, which would fall in those gaps. So yeah, that's pretty cool. They did say longer hair ideally, no bleach, no dye, no fades, no facial hair, which again to me indicates that it's a historical episode because obviously in Victorian times you probably wouldn't have bleached hair or, you know, piercings or anything like that. So that's just a guess on my front, but pretty cool nonetheless. Doctor Who Magazine 589 comes out less than a week from today. It's it's six days away and we'll be getting news and it'll also be the beginning of Doctor Who Magazine's 60th anniversary polls. They'll be starting off with the first and second Doctor eras and then I think they'll move through each decade. So 60s, 70s, 80s, 2000s, 2010s, etc. I don't do the 
the Doctor Who magazine poll mainly because there's just so many stories to categorise and rank. However, if that's something you're interested in, feel free to put your applications in for the stories that they allow. I'm pretty sure you can do third and fourth Doctor stuff around now, I think. So yeah, if that interests you, go and check that out. Finally, I must admit, the most confusing bit of news that we've had. Doctor Who Flux has been awarded a marketing win for the Series Mania Creative Campaign Award. Basically, I think the award is for the, basically, the, the wackiest sort of promotional stints. Flux campaign was hugely successful with the audience and benefited from intense press coverage. I can't lie. I'm not sure what Flux promotion they were watching, but from my end, what I mostly saw was confusion and frustration at the lack of <laughs> at the lack of stuff. Obviously, they did try. There was Find the Doctor, which, in my opinion, did end rather unsatisfactorily. We had the Sontaran ship over Liverpool, which people said was there, although I never actually saw any pictures of it existing. So if any of you live in Liverpool, you actually saw it, let me know. There was things, it felt a bit uh, narrow on the ground to me, it felt a bit minimal considering, you know, it was a big series of Doctor Who personally. I've said before, I found the marketing for Series 13 to be quite weak, in all honesty, so I'm not 100% sure how Flux keeps winning marketing awards, because apparently it's one about 10 now, which I know people will say, well obviously that's an indication that the marketing is good if it's getting awards, but like, I almost feel as though it's more crucial for it to do its job to the audience than it is to do it to a board of judges for rewards. Do you know what I mean? A marketing campaign's job is to make the audience of the programme or whatever it is they're promoting aware of said thing. And I don't really feel like the Flux campaign really did that very well, personally. Not to slag off the team or anything. I'm sure, you know, there's budgetary reasons. In fact, Chris Jim even said as much in a recent interview, but part of me does wonder how this happened, I'll be completely honest. Which again, is not to say that people didn't work hard on it, but I just felt that there were probably better marketing campaigns that year than Flux, personally. But that about wraps up this news video. It's a little bit shorter than previous news videos, mainly because there's only been some minor things. We'll probably get some more stuff with the release of Doctor Who Magazine later this week, or next week, I should say. So if you do want to keep up to date with all the latest and greatest Doctor Who news, this place really is the best place to subscribe to. I'm pretty regular with the old upload schedule. I'm also planning some, you know, bigger projects and some more wacky stuff, including, you know, a nice April Fool's Day thing. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but I want to do a fun, sketchy type thing. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, be sure to like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. If you want to support the channel on Kofi, feel free to do so. Thank you for watching, and I will see you later.